¿Qué onda, vatos? ¿Cómo están? Gracias por regresar al canal. Wait a minute. Uh, this video is in English. I need some coffee. Let me go get some coffee. Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. We're going to be fixing, that's right, the Plex audio system. Now let's look at uh, the wear and tear. I've mentioned this in some other videos. This is what happens when you go ahead and have a uh, have a, a riser that kind of bangs up against the speaker grill when you're using it on your stock uh, risers on your Lowrider S, on your Softail Lowrider S. That's a 5-inch riser. It bangs up against the, the speaker grill. But you know what? I'm I'm not too worried about it. It's uh, it's not a big issue, honestly. I you know, it's just you don't really see it behind the risers, and then you also see some other damage right over here on the bottom. That's from uh, the speaker girl uh, rubbing up against my risers, my Prowse uh, kickback uh, risers. So you can see just those minor dings right there, minor damage. That's just some little bit of information. I've already shared that with you guys before. But let's get into the reason why I have it off the bike. And the reason why I have uh, this guy right here. This is the 5.25 speaker T152 from Rockford Fosgate. Now the reason why I have this, <clears throat> instead of sending it in for my repair, because it's still under warranty. Breaking news. <laughs> Quick update on the Plex Audio. A lot of you guys wanted to stay updated and you know stay in the know. I went ahead and I decided to re-edit this, uh, this, this, uh, this video I decided to go ahead and re-edit, re-upload, go ahead and uh, you know go through the hassle of cutting and editing and you know just reshooting all this stuff mainly because I honestly believe uh, Plex Audio is a, is a good company and like I mentioned I wasn't bashing on them at all and and uh, you know what I, I know stuff like this happens all the time I mean rarely it doesn't I don't I don't believe it happens every single time but you know there's a there's a small percentage something's something's probably gonna um, pop up something you know it happens uh it, ha it happens it, it it happens that's why i mentioned uh, that stuff about the insurance just to give you guys uh you know the the correct information uh, i didn't believe it was right for me to upload or you know or have that scheduled upload uh proceed without giving you guys the proper information so it turns out you can actually uh, you can actually just send them the speaker. They they reached out to me and and uh, contacted me, and they told me that a lot of their customers that's what they do exactly. They 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 do uh, uh, replace speakers, and you don't have to send the whole unit in. So that's a uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> if that was the case, uh, you know, before on, on my earlier video, then I I would have I would have definitely had sent the the uh, the speaker in by itself that way I wouldn't have to spend uh, the 129 to uh, buy the new speaker set but uh, you know what it is what it is uh, like I mentioned I, I did contact them and I and I did wait it and I, I know there's some logistics uh, involved when you're moving a company from one side of the the country to the other and uh, I like I mentioned I, I don't hold them against anything I, I I love their product as you can see right here it looks gorgeous uh, the way it looks, the way it sits on the bike, it's perfect. And um, I just wanted to go ahead and, and give you guys that update, give you guys that proper information instead of uh, putting, you know, more misleading or, or incorrect. I wasn't misleading anybody, but uh, instead of putting out uh, incorrect information out there, uh, in case you guys were, were thinking about buying the Plex audio system, they actually do have a... Uh, a Cyber Monday special uh, going on right now, I believe. So they, it's a it's a good deal. You guys could uh, 
uh, look into it. Yeah, baby! Yeah. Just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know, um, you know, just give you guys the correct information. Like I said, you guys uh, could uh, just stay tuned for the rest of the video and uh, just a heads up, sneak peek, the, the speaker's working now. So it, it was the, the speaker, and it was in fact the speaker on the, on the left side, so. So once you do your math, uh, you would also have to pay to get it shipped back to you. So you're looking at $140 to get this repaired, and that's just for one speaker, if this is what it turns out to be the problem with my unit. My unit <sighs> and my pants. Uh, the, the left uh, speaker seems to be uh, blown out, distorted. As If you see my other video, then I already uh, showed you guys the difference between the right side and the left side. And it is a noticeable difference. Some of you guys might be able to live with it, having a left speaker that sounds like crap, and then the right speaker sounds just fine. It sounds crystal clear on the right side, left side, not so much. But let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, at the Rockford Fosgate. Now this is the same unit that they use on the Plex Audio. Like I mentioned, I'm not holding or I don't have a grudge against Plex Audio. I know this is this this is built the way it should be. The quality is there. The build is there. You know everything about it. It fits perfectly. Not 100% perfectly, but it fits good with my Lowrider S. But let's get into uh, changing this out. Swapping this out and let's see if that makes a difference to the muffled, distorted uh, sound. Here, let's go ahead and get into this. Now the wires are still connected. As you can see, the wires are still connected. See, so I'm, I know there there isn't an issue, and I know it's not the uh, I know it's not the the amp mainly because the right side sounds perfect, crystal clear as it did when I first got it, and it's just the left side. The left side is the one that's been giving me that muffled, distorted, uh, nasty sound. So we're gonna go ahead and swap this one out and then we're going to give it another go test it out see if that's what it was but so far i i think after looking at uh at these wires there's nothing there uh that that will give me the impression that it's uh it's a loose fitting or maybe it was you know something else it looks you know it looks great back here doesn't look like there's any problem so i'm guessing it is in fact the speaker uh, i'm not an expert in audio Honestly, I've done audio systems on my vehicles. I've done audio systems on my other bikes. This one I bought, uh, you know, it's a it's a single unit, enclosed unit. There's nothing for me to, to wire. So this came from Plex Audio. I haven't messed with it. This is not a do-it-yourself kit. But, I mean, it is what it is. So uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys know something that I don't, but I'm not an expert at audio or EQ or anything like that. I know how to wire systems and I know how to, you know, just go about it when wiring, um, you know, auxiliary wires, ground, uh, you know, hot wires. So you just slide these off. There's no special tool or anything like that. I'm guessing that they're really tight because of the vibration and everything. You don't want this stuff to kind of get loose or anything like that while, while you're riding. At these uh, audio things, I know there's some of you guys, you guys are far better in, uh, knowledgeable when it comes to audio systems and ohms and resistors and, you know, so many stuff. Like I mentioned, I'm new at this whole video editing. I'm new at this uh, moto vlogging. I'm new at all this stuff. So this is, you know, just, it's just somebody that has a, a basic knowledge of uh, <laughs> a base basic knowledge of, of how some of these things work. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and reconnect the same way we took it out. The uh, plastic on the right side, the bare wire on the left side, just put that back in there. And that's pretty much it, how you would repair one of these. If you if you were in the same situation that I was where there really wasn't really a benefit to ship this back and uh, make sure you put the speaker grill back on before you put the uh this the bolts back 
but good line up this that's it I'm gonna go ahead and reuse the old ones there's no point of me you know using the new ones so let's just run the the footage at the end uh, thanks for tuning in thank you for watching the, the video this is a uh, how to fix um, your Plex audio now we're gonna have to you know just put it to the test hopefully they don't blow out again and like I mentioned I've only had these for uh, maybe a few months and honestly I, I, since I've been moto vlogging I don't uh, I don't play them while I moto vlog mainly because of the copyright infringement so the use that I've gotten out of them honestly hasn't been that much a few moments later all right so we're back out here again we're gonna be giving the plex audio system a test ride now honestly i'll be honest with you guys i already checked it myself and it sounds brand new because <laughs> it is brand new it's a new speaker but it turns out that was the issue there wasn't any loose uh wires like i mentioned uh, I knew it wasn't the amp, definitely knew that wasn't the problem, mainly because the, the right side s sounded, you know, just fine. So I knew uh, it was a speaker, and, it, and after uh, changing the speaker, and after, you know, replacing it, and, and then, you know, giving it a, a test, you know, turning it on, and, and seeing uh, what it sounded like, and yes, it turns out it was the speaker. So I'm going to give you guys a... A listen if you guys were uh, if you guys were short on time I know the video is a little long so you guys could just go ahead and uh, and just rest assured that uh, it's fixed now I know it was the speaker like I mentioned and I'm gonna give you guys a another uh, listen here <laughs> Like I mentioned, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, blaming Plex Audio. I'm not holding them against it or anything like that. I, I know I keep repeating myself, but I know it wasn't them. Uh, you know, they're, they're, what they provided is exactly what I paid for. I just didn't uh, expect that I'd have to replace it so soon. I mean, it's only been, like I mentioned, it's only been a couple thousand miles. And honestly, uh, you know, when I'm moto vlogging, this is the way I'm, you know, I'm doing it. I'm not listening to the to the Plex Audio mainly because I don't want to get copyright uh, strike or anything like that on the channel. So this is why I I don't uh, I don't play it while I'm moto vlogging and and uh, and you know, and when I'm using it, it's probably half you know half. Half of the time, like I mentioned, I have a lot of videos I haven't uh, uploaded or anything like that. So I'm always, uh, I'm always recording content. So it's just one of those things. Uh, um, maybe, uh, maybe, like I mentioned, maybe if they would have responded to my emails, maybe if they would have acknowledged, you know what, you can send in the speaker. It would have been a whole lot cheaper. I wouldn't have to insure it for $900, and I wouldn't have to send it in a in a padded box, you know, in a large box. I wouldn't have to send it in a, in a large box, you know. You guys saw the speaker; it's about five uh, five and a quarter. It's not that uh, it's not that big at all, so it's not a big issue at all. And if you would have, you know, shipped it, if you would have, you know, shipped it over there, we're we're probably talking about uh, we're probably t like I mentioned, we're probably talking about maybe 15 bucks. And I wouldn't, you know, be worried about, you know, losing the speaker itself. I wouldn't be too worried about losing it. Now, uh, you know what? Let's just end it there. You guys already, you know, heard what I said. You guys could see uh, the, the the first video. That's where I talk about most of this stuff. So if you guys don't know uh, the costs and everything else that involved in getting this repaired with Plex Audio, then you guys will probably see that first video. Other than that, this video is already too long. I'm just gonna upload it. This is where I'm gonna leave you guys. I'm gonna uh, just, you know, enjoy this ride a little bit longer. 
and uh, you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read uh, life's a risk get out there and ride later